What's up guys? Welcome to Field Series Review. Today, somebody bought an entire whitetail system. All right guys, so today we're gonna do something just a little bit different. It's not uncommon that I have some friends of mine reach out to me and say, hey, I'm looking to upgrade everything I have over to Sitka. What do you recommend? And very, very rarely does someone say, I don't care, just tell me everything to get. I want it all done right. So that's what happened in this particular situation. This person wants a whitetail system for them to hunt beginning of season here in Georgia, September, all the way through when they go to Illinois in the Midwest in November and all the way into December and January here in the Southeast. For whitetail, he said, I just want it all. I want to upgrade all my old camo basically spare no expense. So this is the, what we have here, this entire box here. Um, I typically break it down into three categories. One is next to skin, two is gonna be my mid layer, and three is gonna be outer layer. You can go with a fourth uh, category if you wanna do accessories like bags, uh, gloves, stuff like that. Uh, no bags in this one, um, but there are some gloves and a couple other things. So first things first, next to skin, this person did not purchase these two items. Um, I think they already had them from like Camo Fire or something like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them out because I want them to be in the system. This is the Core Lightweight Hoodie. This is my go-to. I use this thing a lot for early season as a solo piece, um, but then also it's always next to skin to wick the moisture away from me when I put on things like my core heavyweight bottoms or my Fanatic hoodie. Speaking of bottoms, core lightweight bottoms, I go top and bottom to keep the, the sweat all out of my insulation and wicks it all the way. So that person already had those, but I definitely recommended those to the core heavyweight, I mean a core lightweight top and bottom. So now let's dig into the box for next to skin that we have into this box we have the fanatic hoodie i love this piece i've got a review for it on my channel uh, next we have the core heavyweight bottoms which is basically the bottom portion of a fanatic hoodie um, don't think i have a review for that i'll get one up this season um, both of those are the synthetics um, next mid layer this is a great piece this is the Celsius Midi Jacket. All this stuff is an elevated too, except for one piece that we're gonna have. Um, Celsius Midi Jacket, this is a great mid-layer piece to put over a Fanatic hoodie. Um, that will get you down into the 30s without an issue. So that he, he's gonna use, a, use that a lot more than I think he realizes. Next mid-layer piece, <clears throat> this is the Equinox Pants, an elevated two. I typically push people towards the Equinox pants instead of the ESW pants because I think there's only about four ounce weight difference. I bought the ESW pants and sent them back because I didn't think that there was enough difference in the weight uh, to justify them. Um, I've already taken this out of the bag as you guys have already seen my unboxing for it. This is the, make sure I get this right, the Equinox Midi pants, basically the whitetail gradients. So. This guy is going to, when he gets later in the season or goes out to the Midwest when it's down into the 20s, he's going to want to go core heavyweight bottom uh, Equinox midi pants over the core heavyweight bottoms, and then he want to put his outer layer on top of that. So speaking of outer layer pieces, the king of all whitetail outer layer pieces for a system like this where you're building up, building up, building up, it's gonna be the Stratus jacket. This person went with the brand new 2020 edition of the Stratus jacket. Uh, when most people ask me about building a whitetail system, I ask them when they're gonna hunt, where they're gonna hunt. Um, I love this system that I've put together. The only two things I would change is if you are hunting in uh, temperatures in the teens, a lot, 20s, teens, single digits, a lot, 
Um, I would get everything that I showed below, but instead of the Stratus, I possibly tried the Fanatic. Now here in the Southeast, I don't think a Fanatic is warranted, but if you replace the Stratus jacket, with a fanatic jacket, it will, and everything else below it, it will get you down into some really, really cold temperatures. If you're up in Canada, maybe you trade the Stratus jacket out for the, um, oh, what is that? What was it? the um, incinerator? The incinerator top and bottom. Um, to go over top of this guy or to go over top of the Celsius jacket, speaking of outer pieces, we have the new 2020 Blaze Orange Stratus Vest. Um, this guy is gonna be bow hunting and gun hunting, so I recommended this. He's gonna be gun hunting later in the year, so this would be a great piece to put. You can go underneath his Stratus jacket, you can go underneath his Celsius midi. Last of the outer pieces is the Stratus bibs. Um, highly recommend he go with the bibs over the pants. It's not but a few dollars more and you get more coverage on the kidneys. Once again, if you were in uh, far north of the United States and you're hunting in the uh, teens, 20s, single digits a lot, you would wanna upgrade the Stratus bibs and the Stratus jacket to the Fanatic series. I would highly recommend that. So that gives us our next to skin, that gives us our mid layer, and that gives us our outer layer. So now let's look at just a couple of pieces that we went with for accessories. This is the brand new Fanatic Beanie, the Windstopper Fanatic Beanie. Um, I need to do an unboxing of this guy, compare it to the old one. Um, I didn't have him go with the Stratus Beanie. I've had the old Stratus Beanie. Um, if I, it's gonna be cold enough for me to wear an actual beanie, it's gonna be cold, cold, cold. And I want more than just windproof beanie. I want some actual permaloft insulation, which is what I'm pretty sure you're gonna have permaloft in this guy. I need to look at it more. Yeah, it is insulated. This is gonna be keeping your head nice and warm. The pictures look pretty crazy, the big alien head, so we'll break this guy out eventually and look at it. Um, net gator, big fan of the net gator. You'd be surprised at how much warmth you can lose by having a wind come down the back of your neck. And then one of the cheaper, more underrated pieces of the whitetail line is the Fanatic Glove. Huge fan of the Fanatic Glove, um, which uh, I hope that uh, he'll enjoy it as much as I have. So, top to bottom, we ordered an entire Sitka whitetail system. You have everything you could start early season with the core lightweight hoodie and Equinox pants and build up from there. Get all the way into the late season with core heavyweight bottoms, the um, Berber fleece insulated pants, the Equinox midi pants, and then put the Stratus bibs over top of that. Um, you would do the core lightweight hoodie with a Fanatic hoodie on top of that. And then you could go the Celsius midi jacket, Stratus on top of that. That whole system right there is gonna get you from starting in the 80s and 90s in September all the way down into the 20s in the late season. Um, and that is how I build my whitetail system. Um, you're Obviously you can mix and match a few things, do it however you would like to do it, but I think most people are going to agree that that is an extremely solid system. Um, throw a, um, a tool belt bag or uh, a, a new tool bucket and uh, this guy's gonna be ready for opening day. All right guys, hope you enjoy today's uh, literally an unboxing of uh, building out this person's entire whitetail line uh, or whitetail system. This is designed to get them from early season into late season and anything in between. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Um, I have someone who's asking me to build them a waterfowl system. So I will do a similar video with waterfowl products. Um, remember, always start your system with the core lightweight top and bottom. Um, it really will change the way that you're able to sit in the stand. So be sure to use promo code FSREVIEW at DixieFowlCo.com and PacificFowlCo.com. Like and subscribe down below. We have a lot more stuff coming. I still have four or five more products that I haven't unboxed yet from the new 2020 line 
and hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, uh, drop a line. Let's talk some Sitka. Let's talk some hunting and you guys stay safe out there.